Uh, right now, live look at downtown Louisville. We've quite a few clouds that are lingering early this morning. Now, the deal is today, especially this morning, most areas will be dry. We're expecting to see a couple of pop up storms as we get you into the afternoon. But early on, Lanesville 67, we're hovering in the lower to middle 70s in the city limits right now. So not bad in Louisville by any means, but south of the Ohio, that's where we're noticing the warmer air north of the river. That's where we're dealing with some mid 60s still. Campbellsville, 70 degrees at this afternoon. Hour. Notice we do have some fog persisting right over Fort Knox. Meade County back towards Breckenridge County. Uh, that's where there is going to be some problems with travel early this morning, especially in city outside of the city. Uh, we're going to be looking at some thick fog there. So make sure if you do encounter some fog, slow down. Do not use your high beam headlights. Today, though, 87, some afternoon storms. The storms will be isolated in nature, so it's not going to be an all day washout by any means, and there will be a fair amount of sun. Maybe you're going to be making today a pool day when it's not storming. I want to give you a heads up. The UV index is pretty low today. It's actually at a six for being in late July in the Ohio Valley. So a quick heads up there. Also, rainfall tracker. So this afternoon, tomorrow afternoon, pinpointing the next couple of days for chances for rain. Notice no percent chances of rain Friday into Saturday. So that is just what we like to hear, just what the doctor ordered across Kentucky. And notice as well, just to our south and east, we do have a nice little array of showers and rumbles of thunder from Memphis, Tennessee, stretching all the way back towards Washington, D.C. and New York right now. Us locally dry. We're likely staying dry throughout the course of midday, but of course things will be changing a little bit more as we get you into about 3 to about 6 p.m. today with these scattered showers and storms looking to randomly develop. They're going to be pretty brief, may I add, and when they do develop, they're likely just going to be producing some pretty heavy rainfall with them. Some of these cells may turn big enough to be turning into uh, some reports of small hail, maybe some brief wind gusts, but regardless, it'll be a pretty quiet event. No severe weather in that forecast. Tomorrow as well, some additional chances for a couple of pop up showers and storms. Again, really not a big deal across much of our area. Before we do quiet down a bit more as we get you into the daytime hours on Friday. In fact, Friday is going to be a pretty good day to head to Mike's car wash. We'll be seeing temperatures in the middle to upper 80s once again. So putting it all together with some more sunshine in the forecast again on Saturday, a mostly sunny sky a high of 90 degrees and picking up some low to mid 90s early next week. Keep in mind the dog days of summer are not done quite yet. There'll be some pop up storms with some of that activity as well.